Hi, I'm Doug Kriebel and today we're going to talk about safety factors. It's prudent to use safety factors when sizing pumps. After calculating the system head based on the accuracy of the data and allowing for wear, deposits in the line, adding friction with age, and other possible reasons, most systems have some safety factor. However, there's a cost. So let's look at how safety factors affect pump systems. Let's assume you have a pump system which is transferring fluid from an atmospheric tank to a continuous pressurized reactor which is at a higher elevation. You calculate the head loss at 300 GPM as 165 feet. The static head and the friction head are plotted. This is what you predict and your design point is 300 GPM at 165 feet. This is point A. Let's say you add a safety factor of 15% on flow and 20% on head, which means you specify a pump for 345 GPM and 200 feet of head, point B. You pick a pump for this service. If your original calculations are correct, the pump will now run out to 370 GPM, point C. In order to have a flow of 300 GPM, you must throttle the control valve to add head to run the pump back on the curve to this point D. This means you are operating at 300 GPM, but now at 215 foot of head. You're getting the flow, but at the cost of additional horsepower, which is energy. The pump only consumes the horsepower at the operating point, as calculated here. The cost of a horsepower is shown here for 10 cents per kilowatt hour and for an 8,400 hour year. And with a motor efficiency of 93%, and in this case, it's 5.2 additional horsepower. This horsepower is being wasted every minute the pump runs. And at 10 cents a kilowatt hour and 24 seven operation, this would be $3,510 per year. That's a lot of money for a pump and motor that might only cost $2,500. You could take the pump apart and cut the impower from seven and a half inches to seven and one sixteenth inches. Or you could use a variable speed drive to reduce the speed from 3550 RPM to 3200 RPM to meet the design point. A variable speed drive for this size pump would cost $1,500 and pay for itself in six months. Using today's technology allows you to be prudent in design but cost effective in operation. We know this information will help you with pump system design, but if you have any questions, we're here for you.